What's up, family? North Korea has accused the United States and South Korean spy agencies of an unsuccessful assassination attempt on their leader, Kim Jong-un, involving biochemical weapons. Now, the state-run media released a statement. It went like this. It said, it will ferret out and mercilessly destroy the terrorists in the CIA and South Korean intelligence agency for targeting its supreme leadership. The ministry said the spy agencies in June 2014 ideologically corrupted and bribed a North Korean citizen who had been working in Russia to carry out the alleged assassination on Kim after returning home. It said that the South Korean agents gave $20,000 and satellite communication equipment to the North Korean to attack Kim during a public event with biochemical weapons such as a radioactive substance. Now, the ministry threatened that a counterattack would begin immediately. Here's what he's saying. Korean-style anti-terrorist attack will be commenced from this moment to sweep away the intelligence and plot-breeding organizations of the U.S. imperialists and the puppet clique, it said, referring to South Korea. They call them a puppet clique. They call South Korea a puppet, puppet clique. Now, here's the deal, man. I might believe what they're saying if they wasn't talking about radioactive substances, you know, bio weapons, man, why they got to do all that? I mean, normally you want to kill the president, you just hire some guns and blast off. I mean, that worked for all, killing all the other presidents. Just shoot them. That's the easy way to get them. I mean, if somebody's going to go after the, the leader, main guy, the head honcho, I mean, you just pull out a gun and shoot him. It works on everybody. That's why I always tell y'all, man, ain't nobody too big to get got. All the presidents in the past been gunned down. At least most of them, the ones that got killed, they just shoot them, blow them up, bomb them, whatever. So, that's why I have a little trouble with believing that. Now, I hate the systematic uh, way that Kim Jong Un, uh, Kim Jong Un, um, starves his people. He basically uses food as a weapon. But he and Donald Trump, they got a lot in common. I mean, it's like they're fighting to see who can be the biggest devil. Because Donald Trump took away health care for 24 million people. So it's like they're in, a, in some type of competition to see who could be the most evil. I think they're twins who were separated at birth. These are two evil fucks. And this Kim Jong Yoon dude, this dude took out his own brother-in-law. This dude, I mean, he, I mean, he kill anybody. I mean, Donald Trump will kill anybody too. He just ain't gonna do it and and be bold like, see, I did this to you. He ain't gonna do the Mr. Big on him. He ain't gonna be like, yeah, I did this to you. He gonna be sneaky with it, like, you know, how it always goes around him. You know, he gonna be sneaky with it, and then. Act like he the savior. Go out, cause havoc, tear shit up, kill people. You know, have the, the henchmen kill people. You know, get the military and spies and the agents and stuff like that to do it for him. And, oh, police agencies. And they get them to do it, do all the dirty work. And then he come in like he the savior. Like, you know, you know we're here to restore order and make peace. You know, vote for me. Keep me around because... I'm here for you. I'm here to help you. Now, I can't do nothing about your little kid. 
uh, dying, should have had some health care, should have had a little bit more money. Can't do nothing about that. Coming from a nuclear armed nut that just assassinated his half brother, I can feel the pain. I can feel, I can feel the pain. Because Donald Trump, he got to be real jealous right now. Because he want to be the emperor. That's what he want to, he want to, he want to come off as the emperor. Like, I'm the guy, I'm the guy that, um, I'm the guy who's the big head honcho in charge. I make everything happen. I'm the man. He wants to come off as the man. And Kim jong Young is still in his glory. Still in that shine. He don't like that. So he got to be over there jealous as hell. But I will say this. I don't think at this moment, the United States really want Kim dead. Because if they wanted him dead, he would be dead. Yo, if y'all like the videos I'm bringing to you, find value in them, make sure you join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.